So I'm back. It's uh, Tuesday, November the 29th, 2016. And I had forgotten what I had to do. But what I have to do is go back and talk to Zoltan about um, how to get into What's Her Face's house. So. First of all, I have some shit to stash. I'm carrying too many arrows, and those arrows are heavy as fuck. Okay, um, these... These aren't as heavy. Let me get rid of these. Forty. Yeah, these, I mean, these are more, these are more powerful, but six pounds, though. I'll keep them for later. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Because arrows are fucking expensive, though, but, and they're heavy. Anyway, let's, let's talk to Zoltan right quick. Get out, pal. Get out, pal. Fuck, I was supposed to talk with him but before leaving the house. Get out, pal. And now I can't. God damn it. Get out, pal. Shit. I think I'm stuck, guys. Get out, pal. Yeah, I think I'm stuck. I I have to uh, see what happens. I am pissed. No bread, no coin. All is flat. Well, anyway, I was supposed to talk with Zoltan before leaving, and he was supposed to tell me that um, Rosa Varaltra needed a uh, fencing instructor. And that was supposed to be my way into the house, but I'll have to see what I can do without that tidbit of information. There has to be another way. Maybe, since I did some meditating and it's a new day, maybe I can, uh, it's finesse it. And whosoever contributes you are an to the cause, of the majesty of the eternal his sins fire. shall be forgiven. Only unwavering faith Frank, in the power of this no flame witcher. can bring us victory. Remember, good God damn it, there has to be One another way. Can do more evil than hey, keep your distance. Ears open, eyes peak. A hired kill him. I wonder if he pays taxes. One cannot make an omelette. No. Find a way into the villa. Your very presence is an affront to the eternal fire. Frank, we ain't looking for no witcher. What do you want? And them pointy things sticking out behind you, they your cleavers? Away with you, vagrant. Frank, we ain't looking for no witcher. Okay, maybe I can go back to uh, talk with Zoltan now. 
I hope so. Because I really don't want to have to uh, reload a save game. Oh shit, wrong one. Fuck. I'm all fucked up today. So anyway, I hope you guys had a nice holiday. Mine was nice. It was very restful and and satisfying because, you know, like I said, I was co-chef this year. And you know, it felt really good to, you know, come together and make a meal, you know, for people I care about, you know, family. And the food wasn't half bad. Alright, let me get the fuck up in here. Shit. I, I really hope I can talk to Zoltan now, because otherwise I'm going to lose my shit. Oh, quit striding. Get out, pal. Oh my god. Okay, maybe maybe I can um look at Dandelion's planner or something. I have to be missing something. Fucking shit. Um Okay, swing her dwarf with agility. So that's supposed to be swords, but... Alright, we'll see, goddammit. Get out, pal. God damn it, Zoltan, talk to me. God, alright, okay. I, I am going to really be upset. Oh. Mm. A witcher? Yeah, I think I screwed myself hard. There has to be another way to do this. Find a way into the Varacha Villa. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to sneak in somehow? I don't even know. Maybe I can throw some Axie on his ass. And be like, you will let me in here. Fucking What's fuck. he doing here? Fucking fuck shit. No discounts, no credit. Okay, so find a way into the estate. So uh, the passive floor is right here. I had the thought of climbing up something and like it's a going world. over the gate. But, uh, I don't know if that's even possible now. Lovely. Let's see. I mean, I hope I don't end up going over a cliff for this shit. Don't run, don't run. 
Don't run, Geralt. We'll get in trouble that way. Oh shit, what the fuck? <gasps> it's a dead body? Love letter. Interesting. Well, damn. So this is completely different from the last time I did this. The last time I just went in as the fencing instructor, but if uh, one way doesn't work out, Yeah, I know she's over there, but I never got to see this part of the... Boo! Radovid's a fucking asshole. Anything interesting here? Nope. Okay. Let's loot shit. I love looting, it's how I make my money. You fancy men like me? Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. Oh, this is different. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? Tis what I. are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Shut Not up. A word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This, this is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But miss, he just claimed to be the cook. He's a cheat, he is. <laughs> See, Frederick, did I not warn you not to jest with the guards? They haven't any sense of humor whatever. Now take Master de Bergerac to the training room. Quickly! As you say, miss. Asshole. Won't you realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Well, I figure I can whoop her ass easily enough. It was easy the last time, too. But then again, like last time, I waited until I was way advanced level-wise before I started doing the main quests. Fuck this book. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. Learn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. Dried fruit. I'm not following you. Shit, I'm going to try these doors. Okay, so. Oh, okay. Well, it it makes sure that it makes sure that I use the uh, wooden one at the time. Yeah. You're my new instructor. Well, 
well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. Swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? No, we didn't just talk. That was the sister. I'm a witcher. I'm looking for... A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Incredibly. But we ought to discuss that another time. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. All right, let's go. Yeah! Corner! Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Yeah, I'll do it. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Varatra, the greatest mischief-maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Ouch. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Interest in politics. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides, always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury is bursting with enough to equip two armies. Changing subjects. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? 
You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. 